your talk trailer incoming. Evo event is on. And a big rip to the tech railgun. You're right, kids, it's Ras Clark, and welcome to your regular ARC community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So, the community crunch dropped last night with anticipation of the Fjord Hawk creature teaser trailer, and did it drop? No. <laughs> Instead, we got the words, keep your eyes peeled for the Fjord Hawk creature spotlight. I stayed up hours after this went live in anticipation that it was actually going to drop, and it never did. So I don't know how long I, you have got to keep our eyes peeled for, but I don't think for days on end without any sleep is going to be a good idea for any of us. What it does mean is it broke the cycle whereby we were getting one new screenshot highlight and then a trailer the following week, which would have made sense for the Fjord talk to have dropped last night, but it didn't. And does that mean anything different for Fjord's release date? <gasps> Hopefully not. <laughs> In fact, Nakatas, the mod map maker himself, did put out a tweet last night saying, can't wait for your builds on Fjorda next month, which means if Nakatas is still in the loop, I'm pretty sure we're still on track for June. And I'm pretty certain it is going to be in the first two weeks due to a guess surrounding a new R2 trailer dropping in late June. And a lot of you have come to me asking, is this new picture here something new towards Fjorda? Is it hinting at the Fjord talk? No, it's not. I'm afraid to report this is an old promo image that was used, I think, when they originally released, announced Fjorda. So nothing there to depict. But I've noticed a lot of you, especially in the PvP community, are very uninterested about the Fjord talk. In fact, I think this creature is going to be for you. Imagine being out in a base, being killed and dropping your bag. This thing on your shoulder will pick it up and fly it straight back to you, meaning in those certain dire situations, perhaps in a PvP issue, if the Fjord Hawk is quick enough, it can just fly away. People won't be able to steal your gear anymore off your bodies. I think this is going to be a game changer for PvP. Maybe I'm overhyping it, but that is my estimation. And I'm still very curious about how this whole looking for, searching for injured dinos thing is going to work, what that actually does, what that is useful for. But that thing alone, the bag returning death item bag thing is going to be a big, big thing. Watch this space. I've said thing about too many times. <sighs> So, The Rock has come back to smell an Evo event, that's right. Said the community manager put out a tweet, smelling something coming, and he wasn't wrong. Of course, a tweet was put out by the official ARC page, telling us we got a bit of two times an official, that's XP harvesting, taming and breeding, a bit of 4.5 times on Small Tribe, 5 on ARC Park, and a bit of 6 on Classic. Don't expect any better rates than that for the foreseeable future. The next event we will probably get will be Summer Bash that usually drops towards the end of June. I wonder what we're going to get that betters this, the inflatable wreck skin. I can't wait to see what happens then. A patch was dropped. That's right, kids. The railgun is now officially disabled on all official networks. No tech railgun for you anymore. But don't worry out there, unofficials. You can still prevent this by getting in a new code. Apparently, there's a geo meshing issue on official PvP right now. And the only solution the devs have until they've investigated the exploit to resolve is by completely disabling it altogether. But you can enable it on unofficials with the following command, PVP disable penetrating hits, and you've got your tech railgun back. What exactly is going on here? We don't know. I'm guessing people are shooting right through. I've not seen any videos doing the rounds. Usually there's a bunch out there, but it seems to be it's a bit quieter on the public front of people knowing how to do this. But then again, I've just reported this, so you're probably going to go out and Google it yourself. When is this going to be resolved? We don't know. There's no ETR on this yet. Although we do know now that the support team don't work the weekends uh, after our interview with Mr. Dolphin midweek. So you could be waiting a while. And it's shout out time once again. This time we are shouting out Effa Hilda. I hope I pronounced that right. A big part of the art community, but crumbing up with a map of her own. That's right. It's called Velius Home of the Lust. And I've got to say, it's got a lot of promise. I think it's still quite early in the development stages, but Effa Hilda has been updating us regularly on its progress. And I am looking forward to getting stuck in. I may jump into this one pretty soon. I still got to jump back onto Titan, but I think I might wait until the second planet's release. But this map is looking gorgeous. 
I'm going to have to jump in, check it out, see what it's all about. I know the devs have acknowledged this. You can download this yourself right now, right here. And I will leave a link to this in the description. If, of course, you're on Steam and you can play mods. But the role-playing direction kingdom aspect that it's offering, I certainly do like the look of. And hopefully, yet, yeah, you'll see this on the channel soon. But go and download it yourself anyway. You should support Effa Hilda. And that completes your news for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, comment below. Let me know. Are you excited for the Fjord Hawk trailer? I will, of course, be reacting to the trailer when it drops. Hopefully, it's going to be next week. Maybe it's even the next community crunch at this rate. Who knows? We don't know. It could be somewhere between then or there. And until then, my name's Ras Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, uh, peace out.